Good day everyone. So in this video, we're going to learn about present value. So present value is one of the topics that is inside the subject of finance mathematics. Okay, so we're going to talk about a bit on future value because it's both connected to present value. Okay, so present value is the sum of money that must be invested in order to achieve a specific future goal. And future value is the money or is the amount that is achieved over the time when that sum is invested. So future value is the money after being invested and present value is the money before being invested. So in this part, we're going to learn a bit more. Receiving 1000 today is worth more than 1005 years from now. Why? Because an investor can invest that 1000 today and presumably earn a rate of return over the next five years. So present value takes into account any interest rate an investment might earn. For example, if an investor receives 1000 today and can earn a rate of return of 5% per year, the, the 1000 today is certainly worth more than receiving 1005 years from now. So if an investor waited five years for 1000, there would be an opportunity cost or the investor would lose out on the rate of return for the five years. So that basically means 1000 if you get it today and you invest it for five years, you will get more. But if you wait for five years, then you get that 1000, you'll be losing a lot of opportunity to get a lot of money. All right, so we're going to go to the next part. So in this part, we're going to learn a bit more deeper. So present value is this money, the starting value, and future value is the money after being invested or after getting the rate of return. So this part is based on the previous example, 5% rate of return after 5 years, you will get this amount. So this is a big profit from the present value. So present value is the starting value before it being invested, and future value is the value after being invested. Okay, so we're going to learn about the formulas. This is the formula, but we're not going to focus on the future value. So we're going to focus on present value. So present value, PV is equals to FV, which is future value, and 1 plus I power of N, where I is R equals to R over M, and N is equals to M over T. I mean M multiplied by T. Okay, so PV is sum at the present time, and MV is sum arising in the future, and N, number of interest-bearing periods, and M, compounding frequency, which is this part, and T is time period. R is annual rate or nominal rate, and I is the periodic rate. Alright, so next. Okay, this is the example that we can learn and we can use. Consider a scenario where you expect to earn a 5,000 payment in 5 years time. So based on that, we can understand already, but we're just going to continue. If the discount rate is 8.25%, what is the payment be worth today? So based on that, we're going to grab or take some information so that we, got, we don't get confused. So we need to find the present value and the future value. Okay, so the future value here or present value. But based on this question, you expect to earn 5,000 payment in 5 years time. So that is the future value. Okay, so if the discount rate is 8.25, what is the payment be worth today? So we want to find the present value. So here it says discount rate, so it's going back, discount, right? So 8.25% discount rate. In 5 years time, what is the present value? So previously, we're talking about the rate of return, which is from present value to find future value. But this example is teaching you about discount rate, which is when you have future value, you're trying to find present value. So we just use the formula, which is very simple. In this formula, you just sub in the future value and you put in I. I is the uh, periodic rate. So it's given here in five years time, 8.25 discount rate. So you just put it in. But 8.25, you need to put it in decimal. So 1 plus 0 0.0825. 0 
power of 5 and 5 is the number of periods so in 5 years time then you just use your calculator to calculate this and you get the answer PV is equals to 3,363 and 80 cents so that is for this example so there's more example coming after this that's going to be taught by my friends so for example one Joshua wants to have 250,000 ringgit at the end of 25 years in order to buy a house he wants to invest in an account that earns 7.5% interest compounded annually how much should he invest today in order to achieve his goals so Joshua wants to have 250,000 ringgit which means that is his future value at the end of 25 years which is this one is our period and in order to buy a house he wants to invest in an account that earns 7.5% which means this is our interest compounded annually which means uh, the in it will compound it one time a year so how much should he invest it today? He wants to know his present value. Present value is equal to future value divided by 1 plus interest power of period, power of n. So it's equal to, we want to know our present value. Fv is RM 250,000 ringgit divided by 1 plus 7.5 0 0.075% 0 0.075 power of N N is our 25 years so our present value is calculated using our calculator RM40,994.74 77 that is our present value so example 2 example 2 let's see our example 2 Leo wants to buy a brand new Toyota Vios in 2 years period 2 years period this is our T he wants to know how much money he should deposit into a, flexi, uh, a fixed deposit account. He should deposit. So that is his um, present value. Offering 9.8% per annum compounded quarterly. 9.8% per annum. That is our R. Compounded quarterly M Quarterly means uh, Compounded uh, Four times a year In order to buy the car worth 92,000 ringgit 92,000 ringgit is our Future value So our formula is PV is equal to FV over 1 Plus I Power of N we know that I is equal to R over M. N, uh, N is equal to M times T. We substitute all the information that we have. Every over 1 plus I is R over M power of M T. We substitute all the information that we have. And we get PV is equal to RM92,000 ringgit divided by 1 plus R is 0 0.098 divided by M is 4 and MT4 times T. T is 2. So we got RM. 75,804 ringgit that is Leo's uh, how much Leo's uh, 
uh, how much you should deposit in his uh, fixed deposit account. Okay, we move to the example three. And the question is, suppose a company expect to receive 8,000 ringgit million after five years. So calculate the present value of this sum if the current market interest rate is 12% and the interest is compounded annually. So the question asks for the present value after the after five years. So we need to uh, the first step we can do is identify identify all the given data. The first one is which value which is eight thousand ringgit position, and for n period is five year. For i interest rate is twelve percent. Then we can substitute all the given data into the formula, which is present value equal to future value divided with the bracket 1 plus i interest rate plus bracket with the power of n period then you can substitute the future value like which is a thousand into the future value 1 plus cos 0 0.12 into the i and 5 into the n then the value that we got is 4,540 ringgit Malaysia after the five year. Then we move to the example 4. Okay, returning to the previous example, assume that the, at the end of five years, you aim to have 50,000 ringgit Malaysia. If you can earn 12% interest compounded annually, compounded annually, how much do you need to invest today? So, the question asks how much we can invest Today and then we got fifty thousand ringgit after five years. We know the accum formula accumulated amount equal to factor times with the principal. So we arrange the formula into to the principal equal to accumulated amount divided with the factor. Then we can substitute all the given data into the formula, which is accumulated amount is fifty thousand ringgit measure after the five years. Because that's we target, that's we aim to have 50,000 in Malaysia divided with the factor which is 1 plus 0, 1, 2 with the power of 5, which is the period. Then we got the value 8,511.50 cent ringgit Malaysia. That's the value how much we need to invest for today. If we want to get fifty thousand ringgit measure after five years. For example, five. The question is, what is the present value of one thousand ringgit Malaysia received in two years if the interest rate is twelve percent and discounted annually? First, we need to identify the given data from the question. Then, from the question, we know that future value is one thousand, interest i is twelve percent and period n is 2 years after we already take out the given data from the question then we can use the formula to find present value which is present value equal to future value over 1 plus i in bracket to the power of n and substitute the given data from the question for future value i and n finally we will get the answer 700 97 ringgit 70 cent ringgit Malaysia is the present value that the question one.